is Sarah Dix. And I'm Megan Bollard. And I'm Quinn Gallion, the cameraman. Come with us to Center Point, Indiana and take a tour of the Exotic Feline Rescue Center. When did this facility start? This facility started back in 1991. Um, our director, Joe Taft, came here with a leopard and two tigers, and this place just kind of grew from there. He had rescued the tigers, and he came here, bought all this land, and now we have 187 cats. Kind of just grows. How many cats did you start with? Started with three. Where do the cats come from? The cats come from all over. They come, we've gotten cats out from out in New York and we've gotten cats from out in California. We get them from all over the country. They come from different places. They come from roadside zoos, circuses, private owners, other sanctuaries, just all different situations. Some good, some not so good. Um, just from everywhere. How many cats do you have? Right now we have 187. How many species do you have? That's a good question. We have, I can name them first. We have lions, tigers, cougars, leopards. Um, we have one ocelot, or well, I'm sorry, we have five ocelots. Um, one lynx, uh, one caracal lynx. We have bobcats. Um, what else do we have? I believe that may be it. Yes, that's all we have. Have any of the cats have babies? Yes, we have had cats that had babies here. What do the cats eat and where do you, and where do you get the food? Um, the cats eat raw meat um, and we get it from local farmers. They donate any dead livestock. When a cow or a horse passes away, they call us and we either go get it or they bring it to us and everything is butchered up right here um, and fed right out. So we also, and we also get roadkill deer um, and roadkill squirrels, the smaller cats like squirrels. How much money does it take to operate this facility? Um, honestly, I do not have a number on that. I'm sorry, I can't answer that question. I don't have a number on that, but it is a lot of money is a lot of money. We're constantly building and we're constantly growing, so cages are being built like crazy, um, bringing new cats in. Um, we do order chicken also, I forgot. We do order chicken anywhere between 800 to 1,800 pounds of chicken a week, and we do have to pay for that. Where does the money come from? Um, all people from uh, coming in from tours, um, people donate money. We, we do fundraisers and that's pretty much it. Everything is all donations. When did you start working at this facility? I got started about a year and a half ago and I just love big cats and I love rescuing animals so I put two and two together and I came out here and I absolutely love it. As you can see I have a big lion behind me and he's one of the reasons why I absolutely love this place. What is the most important thing you want the public to know? Um, we have a website, uh, www.exoticfelinerescuecenter.org, that you can visit. Um, there's plenty of pictures of our cats. It'll show you updated fundraisers when they're coming up and all that, and um, pretty much sparks your interest to come out here. Uh, this place isn't like anywhere else. It's not like any zoo. You're not 200 feet away from a cat, you're two. So um, people just don't understand the size and, of these animals and anything like that until they're this close and they see it. So seeing the pictures on the internet I think really sparks people's interest for coming out here. So our website would be a great thing for people to visit and just come out here. However, if you look at her ears and see how short they are, Pesha was kept as someone's pet and they had her tied to a tree all year round in order to escape the cold. So she lost her ears to frostbite. Um, so she is going blind. Um, our blind cougar, that's what he has. His was caused from malnutrition when he was younger. Hers is probably due to the fact that she's a white tiger. You can go to breeders. You can find breeders and pay a lot of money for them. And anybody can get them as long as you have the right permit. Well, any, they'll, breeders usually will sell to anybody. Um, and then it's up to you to get the right permits depending on where you live, if you're allowed to have them. Um, you need to be U.S. 
USDA approves and then the USDA. I mean, we're inspected by the USDA. It's now just shut down because he has a lot of cats and he, was, he had too many and they were in bad conditions. So he was shut down until he was only allowed so many cats and he had to find homes for all the other ones. So we took in a lot of his cats. And these are two of them here. Thank you for watching our video. We, re we recommend that you visit the Exotic Feline Rescue Center. We're BTV Junior signing off.